Space, the cosmos, the final frontier. Earth is just a blue speck. Welcome back to People Be Like. I'm your host, William Haynes. Last week, you guys saw me work my body out. Miranda, are you sure about this? Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. No, no, we're shaking. ready. We're good. And I learned a lot. Physical fitness is very important, but you know what else is? Your mind. So today I had resident smart guy Spencer Reed teach me all there is to know about black holes. You know, the phenomena. While blindfolded, because I don't want to make this easy on myself. I want to use my imagination. Hey. Come forward. No, just come forward. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. All right. Oh, there we go. I shouldn't be that easy to move. I'm ready to learn. Today we're gonna talk about black holes. Okay. We're gonna try and do this blindfolded. 100%. I'm ready. Okay. So tell me. Yeah. First off, what is a black hole? To understand what a black hole is, you kind of have to understand the way that gravity works. So you know what gravity is, right? Yeah, it's when the apple falls out of the tree and Sir Isaac Newton's like, ow! Uh, kind of. Okay, so <laughs> gravity is basically the force that, that holds us to the Earth. I so. thought that was love. Uh, that is love as well. You're right, it is love. There's this thing called space-time. Okay. It's this theoretical fabric that essentially permeates all of our universe, right? Okay. So it's like you can't see it, but with the camera they can see. We have a, a blanket set up here, just like a flat plane. So space-time is kind of like this blanket. All right. And that's going to kind of be the representation of what we call space-time. So okay. here, I'll lead you to it. You can kind of feel it. Don't right. climb over the table. Oh, nope, there's a lamp there. Okay, all right. let's go this way. So you can feel, okay, so oh, can you feel that? Oh, yeah, all right. What's that feel like? This feels like the space-time continuum. Okay, good. That's what I want it to feel like. This is a, a, a flat representation of space-time. And the way that gravity works is that there are things that have mass, like this ball. Is Here, mass you know, weight? Yes, mass is essentially weight. Here, okay. if you want to feel this really quick, that is a planet. Very so familiar. Okay, this is what a planet that's feels like. That's what a planet like. would feel like. <laughs> All okay. right. So when a planet is sitting in space-time, space-time actually bends. So put your hand underneath the okay. thing. Okay, you're going to feel it bend. Ready? All One, right. Two, Drop it on me, brother. Whoa. So you feel how the blanket bends down. Earth. That's basically like what Earth is doing to space-time. It's bending it. All right. Earth right? is bending space-time because we're a very heavy planet. Because we're heavy. A lot of McDonald's and Burger King. A lot of Burger King, a lot of McDonald's. Okay. This is kind of like a black hole. Oh, wow. Okay, that's heavy. Right? As I drop this on it, you'll feel that it goes well, farther down. Yeah. Uh -huh. Right? Much farther down. We don't want to go down, but that's what happens with black holes. Right. So uh, instead of it being that heavy, imagine that it's so heavy that it actually stretches space-time down farther and farther and farther. You get this bundle of mass that's so heavy that it's actually pulling space-time all the way down. Wow, your hands are a little clammy. Thanks. It creates this hole where things can't escape. Okay, let's say a motorcycle goes into that hole. Right. It's never coming back. It can't come back. This is Not even of... light can escape from a black hole. Not even light? Right, because there's this thing called the event horizon, which is basically the surrounding area of the black hole. So like, there's the actual hole itself. Right, so like, I'll draw, you can't see this, but I'm gonna draw it. There's this area that's the center of the black hole. And then there's this surrounding area that's essentially the event horizon. Interesting, I and see. And that is like the area that once you enter, you can't leave. Think of it like the water in a toilet. All right, I know about that. Right? If there's stuff in the water in the toilet, when you flush the toilet... It's done. It's done. Okay, so we're going into the black hole together. Uh-huh. And as we approach the event horizon, time actually slows down. Whoa. Think of space-time as being a combination of space, space and time. And time. These are two things that I cannot see, but I can feel them. <laughs> so you know that space and time are interlocked. Yeah. Right? There's something they're, similar they're about that. They're woven together. So, uh, as space-time is stretched, so is time. Okay. So time in the event horizon is actually slowed down from the rest of the universe. Okay, I heard that like if you take a mouse and mm -hmm. put it on the moon, right. it's gonna die faster cause, or slower because time is different right. there. So that's why astronauts age differently than people on Earth. Oh, Does that make sense? okay, yeah. Okay. So black holes do this, but they do this to an extreme amount. So if we were to find a way to enter the event horizon, okay. right, time were to slow down for us, stay the same for everybody else, Oh, because we're in there together. Because we're in there together. We could find a way back out of the event horizon and be forward in time. Wow. We could time travel. But we'd be like living relics of the past. Right, right, right. We would be, we would be so uh, old to them. We would have <sighs> no idea what was going on because it moves, it, 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 the time travel would be so much farther in the future. 
All right, I feel like I learned a lot today. Good, okay, well I have a pop quiz for you. So we're gonna have you take off your blindfold. All right. All right, number one, what does the event horizon do to time? Oh, the event horizon is where it's at, all okay. right? It's gonna slow down time. You're gonna go in there, you're gonna be like, oh man, everybody out there is in a different time zone than me. That's what the event horizon that is. That is correct. Okay, question number two. What's the only thing that can escape a black hole? Uh, nothing. That's right. Good nothing job. can that escape a black hole. Not even light. That is correct. All right, and number three, what is a black hole? <sighs> it's when you can't, if you go in there, everything is destroyed. But at the same time, it's when uh, Earth, okay. It's pretty much right. Pretty close to what we understand about yeah, black holes. That's what a black hole is. Hey everybody, thanks for watching this episode of People Be Like, a program under our wonderful Discovery Overlords. You like science, huh? Well, did you know that you can watch your favorite Discovery Channel, TLC, Animal Planet, and Science Channel shows anytime, anywhere? You could be watching through the wormhole right now. Just download Science Go. Check out the description down below for more information. So what about you guys at home? Could you answer those questions by the end? What other things should I try to learn? Let me know in the comments down below and subscribe to People Be Like for four new videos a week. I'm William Haynes. You were to approach the center of the black hole with your legs first. Your legs would be what the scientists call uh, spaghettified, and that's actually a real scientific term for what happens when, when you are uh, approaching a black hole. You're spaghettified, your legs uh, are stretched um, farther away from your head, and you essentially are obliterated. Wow, yeah. what a way to go out though! But I mean, it's gotta be fun, right? That's way better than donut heart attack. <laughs>